I just wanted to say Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you have an absolute brilliant 2022. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Uh, today is Saturday the 1st of Jan uh, 2022 and Happy New Year for the third time and I today I'm gonna be reacting to George Carlin time. I haven't seen that bit, it is one of his uh, the old specials so I'm really looking forward to it. Here we go. Does the time bother you? I get bothered by the time. Not so much the time itself, the people bother me for the time. <laughs> people come up to me on the street. I'm sure you've had this happen to you. People come up to you and say, what time it is? Well, they might say, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't get into these ballads. <laughs> you've had people come up to you and say, what time is it? What time is it? As if you personally were responsible for keeping time? <laughs> yeah. You know, I feel, I feel honored, first of all, that they thought I was the man in charge. But I do have to explain, you don't see official timekeeper on here, do you? <laughs> I don't have the time, of course not. Do you have the time? That's another way they say, do you have the time? I say, uh, no. <laughs> I don't believe I do. I certainly didn't have it this morning. <laughs> Did you leave it somewhere? Well, do you have the time? No, I don't have the time. I use a little of it, like everyone, you know. But I don't have it. I think, I think the Navy has it. <laughs> in Washington, isn't that? They keep it in an observatory, that's right. Sure, they let out a little of it each day. <laughs> Not too much, they wouldn't want to give us too much. Just enough time. Sometimes they'll say, do you know what time it is? And I say, yes. <laughs> I hate to disappoint them, but there is no time. There is no time. I don't mean there's no time. I mean there's no time. When the hell is it? We made that whole thing up. There's no time. We made it up. It's a man-made invention time. There are no numbers up in the sky. I've looked. They're not there. <laughs> we made this stuff up. When is it? When the hell is it? When are we, I ask you? When are we? Sometimes we think we know where we are, but we don't really know when we are. When the hell is it? All the time zones are different. Every calendar you run across is different. They'll all give you a different answer. These are calendars. These are made to, to keep track of time. <laughs> Everybody's got a different one. Chinese are way up there in the five and six thousands. Hebrew calendars way up in the five and six thousands. We're up at about 1970 something shit. This ain't a couple of weeks these people are off. This is thousands of goddamn years. <laughs> How did they do that? We don't. We don't know when the hell it is. It could be the middle of last month for all we know. <laughs> I mean, time is so, we've got it down so perfect that every four years we have to stick in an extra day just to make sure it still works. Yeah. We call it February 29th. Bullshit, it's March 1st and I know it. <laughs> it just feels like March 1st. You can't keep track of the time. What's the sense? I'll give you an example. There's a moment coming, it's not here yet, it's still on the way, it's in the future, it hasn't arrived. Here it comes, here it is. Oh, shit, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no now, there's no now. Everything is the near future or the recent past. But there's no present. Welcome to the present. <laughs> Present's gone. Gone again. It's just so imprecise. We don't even care to use the minutes and seconds and hours that we've been given. Everybody's very vague about the time. They say, what time you got? Oh, I got, uh, I got just after. <laughs> just after? Jeez, I must be slow. I had going on. <laughs> and where did that imprecision begin? Why is it we're not so sure? I know one of the clues that happened to me was when they started telling me about moments. When I was a kid, they were trying to teach me how to tell time. And of course, you can't tell time. Time tells you. But they were trying. They were trying to show me. On the big hand, I said, I don't have a big hand. Never mind. Look at the clock. And the clock is so wonderful. There's so much emotion attached to a clock face. 
I hate digital clocks. Digital clocks rob me of all the emotional experience of the spatial relationships on that face of the clock. Isn't it true? I mean, don't you always feel that this half hour, when it comes down from 12 down to 6, goes by a lot quicker than this half hour when it has to come up fighting gravity all the way. <laughs> you know, it does go a lot quicker. God. Oh, I, got you. Yeah. I love this man. I tell you. I tell you this, if I only have a half hour to live, I want it to be this one, man. It'll last just a little bit longer than that one. <laughs> It's vague. That's all I'm saying. It's very vague how we treat time. We have all these wonderful expressions. We say now. Now is an interesting one. When? Now. You want that now? Yes. Well, would you like to try again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's going. Sometimes just now. Just now. Did you hear that? What? Just now. <laughs> you mean, must mean just then, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, just then. But there it goes again. When? Now. No, not now. No. <laughs> Pardon me, do you have the time? When do you mean now or when you ask me? <laughs> this shit is moving, Ruth. <laughs> oh. We have a lot of these vague terms. Right away, immediately, at once, lickety split, just like that, nothing flat, drop of a hat, no time at all. As quick as you can say, Jack Robinson. I'm sure you've done that to people. I'll be back before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson, hey, you're not back. <laughs> <laughs> How about a jiffy, a jiffy, or a flash? Which is quicker, a jiffy or a flash? I think there are two flashes in a jiffy, my son. <laughs> but God knows how many jiffies there are in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> and why did they use two shakes of a lamb's tail? What's wrong with the basic unit of measurement? One Fun. shake of a lamb's tail. We can do our own arithmetic, thank you. Belched a little there. <laughs> Tried to swallow that one. Then we have words like soon. Soon. That's a very emotional word. There's a lot of potential for drama in that word. Soon. 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 Is your mother coming home? Uh huh. <laughs> when? When? Yeah. Soon. <laughs> Real soon. As soon as she can. Sooner than you think. That's kind of a spooky one. Sooner than I yeah. think. That's a little bit like before you know it. <laughs> I'll be back before you know it. He did it. Holy Christ. Look at that. <laughs> Oh man, I can listen to him all day long. And we go on with these terms that we use, these vague terms of time. One of these days, before long, any time now. Well, that's true. Everything's going to happen any time now. Any day now. That's kind of a snotty one, any day now. Hey, I'll be giving you that five bucks I owe you, Bill. Yeah, <laughs> any day now. <laughs> Sooner or later... Now and then, once in a while, from time to time. In a little while. In a little while. Well, it'll just be a little while. That's a wonderful one. I just love that. It sounds so benign. Just a little while. Couldn't hurt you, could it? You can wait a little while. It'll only I hate be a that little word. while longer. Just a little while. <laughs> That's so different from a short time. Short time. Sounds almost terminal, doesn't it? <laughs> you only have a short time. Whereas you have a little while. Oh, I'd rather have a little while than a short time. Yeah, we got long ways we measure time. We got vast distances of time we measure. People will say things like, kingdom come. I, I'm going to be standing here till kingdom come. Shit, I don't have that on my watch. <laughs> Doomsday, you say? Doomsday. Till the cows come home. <laughs> well, that's an easy one to understand. That's long about dusk, isn't it? If you leave them out overnight, they burst. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a long period of time forever. Some people will tell you, guys, I've been standing on this line forever. 
Look at this, Dave. This man has been standing on line forever. forever. <laughs> he looks fairly fresh to me. <laughs> <coughs> almost like an eternity, people will tell you. It's, it's almost like an eternity, as if they had experience with eternities. Now, you must have a favorite period of time. I have some favorites. I just want to try a few of them on you. It isn't easy uh, to select a favorite period of time, so many of them are attractive, but there are little periods of time that, um, that you might relate to. Of course, the most basic period of time I feel is five minutes. That seems to be the one everyone chooses. If they need to think of a period of time real quickly, they just go, five minutes, just five minutes. I'll be there in just five minutes. Give me five minutes, would you please? Just, would you just give me five minutes? Well, are you kidding me? I could fix that shit in five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. That's all most people want, five minutes. A good, solid, nice period of time. You can do anything for five minutes, can't you? I mean anything. Even things you really hate. Uh, you can probably do it for five minutes. <laughs> hey, let's go talk to Ted. Are you kidding? Ted's an asshole. <laughs> Look, just five minutes. Okay, let's give it a five. Not ten. Ten I can't make. Now you're getting into double digits, you stop and fool with my head. Time. Five, ten minutes. Fifteen minutes is popular. You hear fifteen quite a bit, but it's, it's sort of an institutional one. It's kind of an official time period. Fifteen minutes. Has a touch of regulatory... Uh, quality to it. Doesn't it sound like something you're not supposed to do or have to do for 15 minutes? 15 minutes? <sighs> I like 20 minutes. Doesn't that sound free compared to 15? 15 minutes. 20 minutes. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Gosh, what's he gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> So, that was George Carlin, Time. What an absolute brilliant way to talk about something so big and yet so benign. Like, time is everything. People say, I don't have time for this. I don't, oh, man, you're wasting my time. And then talking about it in a sense, like he did, he's talking about the minutes, the hours, what time is, has been explained or uh, taught us but I absolutely love this man man you don't understand uh, I could listen to him all day long every day for god knows how long without even flinching or getting bored because it is such you know he's sort of the per uh, an individual he was sort of the individual who you can literally sit next to and talk about anything and it will be an interesting conversation you know what I mean like there are people uh, that you can sit with and have a talk and there won't be any problem you can agree disagree you can talk about almost any subject and topic and it will be an interesting conversation he is that sort of an individual he was I keep saying he is he was that sort of an individual and I absolutely loved him man I could I could mesmerize I feel mesmerized by literally just listening to everything he's done he left for us and I'm so much looking forward to doing every single thing he's ever done. I want to look at everything he's done. I want to watch everything he's done because I am in awe of this man. And he was an absolute legend and he will continue to be one uh, for so many new generations to come. And I'm sure we all love it. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And if you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. And once again, Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys next time.